is a video review for Saints Row 2 for the Xbox 360. And I guess we'll just jump right into it. Um, Saints Row 2 is basically um, a fun game to play. You will definitely have fun playing this game. So let me start off with the story. Now, if you played the original Saints Row, you'll know that at the end of the game, um, you basically die. Or they lead you to believe that you die. Because in the beginning of Saints Row 2... You end up, you know, you're found in this hospital, you didn't die, you're in the hospital, you're just really bad off, and, um, you know, you've been out of commission, you've been in a concussion or whatever, and you've just been all messed up. So, um, while you've been out of it, basically, there's been three other gangs that are trying to take over Stillwater. And being that you're the, the leader of the Saints Row crew, you know, that's your gang, your whole mission throughout the entire gang is trying to win back the city. You're trying to go and take out these rival gangs so that, you know, the Saints can basically, they can basically dominate Stillwater. And uh, that's pretty much the premise of this game. Um, <laughs> it's very, you know, straight and, you know, to the point. It does offer a lot of humor. I mean, th this game is funny, and it makes fun of it itself. And I think that's what makes it, you know, a fun experience, definitely. Because it doesn't take anything seriously. There's a lot of stereotypes in the game. Um, there's just, you know, <laughs> a lot of funny stuff happens. But at the same time, um, while it is funny and, you know, it tries to poke fun of itself, um, you know, there are a few things, you know, that they touch on, the twists and turns that'll definitely keep you interested and wanting to play more. Now, as far as gameplay goes, I think gameplay, the gameplay in Saints Row 2 is probably the best part of the entire game, just because, you know, it's so easy to pick up and play. It's very, very arcadey, and as I said before, that makes it very fun. Um, you could just go into the game and just have a blast by not even completing the missions, just roaming around the city and finding all types of stuff to do. And, um, you know, that that's just, it's awesome. I know that's usually what sandbox games are usually like, but in this game, there's just a ton of stuff to do. Um, as you can see, the map uh, shows that it's basically the same city as Saints Row was, the original Saints Row, but it does add uh, a few islands to make it just a little bit larger. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do. You can basically go to all types of stores in the game, liquor stores, tattoo parlors, um, fast food joints, music stores, um, and you can also um, do a whole bunch of activities throughout the game, and there's a bunch of activities such as uh, racing, there's uh, Hitman, there's the infamous Sep Septic Avenger, which is basically, I know you heard this, this is basically where you're driving around in a septic truck and you're spraying poo on property to lower the property damage. And uh, what other game can you find that in? No other game has that, and that's pretty cool. Just the fact that there's these outlandish outlandish missions for you to accomplish, and, you know, the characters are, <laughs> they're just really memorable. So, um, there's just a bunch of things to do. I finished the, the story, like the missions, in under 10 hours, but um, as you can see, there's just a whole lot of missions here, and I'm nowhere, you know, being to the point of being finished so there's many more hours to be completed in this game um now as far as um the the shooting and everything like that i mean it's like i said it's very arcadey uh you're gonna find it, it's gonna be very easy to drive and shoot it's gonna be easy to just run around and shoot uh it's easy to just you know snatch up a car and basically just start driving the driving feels pretty good the shooting feels good um everything feels pretty cool i mean you know it, it's a straight up arcadey type of game and you know if if you're willing to have a lot of fun with it you're gonna have a lot of fun um now i will say that there uh, aside from all of that um all of these missions and things to do 
what you can also do in the game and you can spend a lot of time doing that is customizing your character customizing your gang customizing cribs you can buy cribs in the city and customize customize them to your liking uh, to earn style points you can customize your car there's just a whole lot of customizing to do and that feels really good because you can basically go online with your character and you know your character is going to look different than every other character that you play with so that's that's a good feeling to know that you know you can you can set yourself aside from everybody else and that's really cool now as far as graphics go uh saints row 2 isn't the best looking game out there right now um but with that being said you know i will say that what it's trying to do it does well um you know, the animations look good, the character models look good, um, but you you well notice, like, from a distance, like, if you're standing in one spot and you're looking far off, you know, um, the city looks, uh, you know, a little bit generic or whatever, and, you know, you won't notice a whole bunch of detail. The cars look good, though, um, and everything else looks all right. I mean, I will say... The game does look okay. It's not spectacular, but um, there are a few problems with it because of this. You know, the, there's problems with. Uh, sometimes I would encounter the fact that um, the the screen would get kind of fuzzy and the colors would look a little washed out. And I I hope that wasn't intentional, but I did notice that a few times. Um, there's a lot of lag that goes on in the game, especially when you're playing certain missions with a lot of stuff on the screen. And you know, that's to be expected just because of how big this game is and how much there is to do. But especially when you're playing missions like or you're doing activities such as mayhem when there's just a whole bunch of stuff on the screen and let's say you're using a rocket launcher to destroy whatever you possibly can, you're going to notice a lot of lag and um, it really doesn't take away from the gameplay per se, but you know, it's very noticeable and it, it you know, it can become a little bit annoying. As far as sound goes, um, it's pretty cool because, you know, it has some some really cool music on it. My favorite radio station, when you get in a car, you can change the radio stations. Um, they have all types of stations. They have the reggae station, um, you know, the rap station, the metal station, the pop station. My favorite station probably, though, is uh, The Mix, which is basically the old 80s pop hits. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> I find it really weird to drive around with that station on and then just, you know, shooting people or whatever just because it doesn't match. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as far as online goes, though, uh, I will say that I haven't really touched online that much just because um, I did play a little bit, but I haven't gone back to play it just because of the fact that... Um, you know, the the online games, they just don't really appeal to me. They took away Big Ass Chains, Chains which was my favorite um, online mode in uh, the original Saints Row, and that's not on here anymore, so, you know, it, it kind of stinks. But what you can do, though, is play co-op. You can get a friend in, into your game, and you guys can run through the entire game in co-op, which is pretty cool, because basically everything in co-op makes makes it just more fun so you're definitely going to have a great experience if you get a friend in there and play um, all of the missions in co-op um, so that's pretty much it that Saints Row 2 I mean it's a fun game you'll definitely have a blast playing through this game um, nothing in this game is serious you know like I said it makes fun of itself and you know if you're willing to have fun and you're you want to play a game that's just all about fun and you know riding around and destructing stuff and you know <laughs> just laughing you know you're really gonna have a lot of fun with this game so definitely pick it up if you're into these type of sandbox games and um have fun with it i hope you guys have as much fun with it as i did so thanks for watching guys final score 8.5